to, to be live, and there are still calls for the market to close for, for some period of time because people are emotional and they are scared and there are worries, and, and a lot of that is manifesting itself in the markets, which is adding further pain to this sort of economic and health crisis that we're seeing. State your case of why it's so important to keep the markets open versus, say, 9-11, where we saw the floor close for a few days, but we also saw the market close. So those are very different scenarios, and I understand that it is hard to not make emotional decisions, but we have to do that. People need to make sure they are not panicking and making decisions, whether they're investment decisions or personal decisions. People should be staying home, and they should be focusing on protecting their long-term investments, and that means not to panic right now. When you, you reference 9-11, the market was closed for four days during 9-11 because at that point in time, it was not uh, 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 capable of opening. The, the industry, the New York Stock Exchange, many of its clients were not able to operate remotely. We have since introduced that capability. We've also, I've heard reference over the past few days, back in World War I, that the markets were closed for four months. At that point in time, the number of Americans that had their life savings and their money invested in the market was dramatically different. Right now, people are being stressed, and many of them need access to those dollars in the short term because of the, the trials that they're undergoing right now. We can't take that access away from them. I, we've made adjustments to the market to deal with situations like that, 